like, all I want to do is burn stuff. That's all any man wants to do. <laughs> it's ah! <laughs> And welcome to the Cowboy for Game Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast. I'm your host, Jake. Tonight, I'm joined by Bragg. Hello. And Blake Yee. from Blake Go Space. Surely you've got a, a channel to plug. Bragg yo I remember. No, he plugs it when we're not ready, and then I abuse him for it. That's okay. Anywho, how was our week in Yu-Gi-Oh? Um, Blake, much going on there? Yeah, again, I did the teaching and the, the rulings and the, like the, the helping the little scrublets. I did like the, oh, like, let me help you out with your lists and uh, their shit all list and their blue eyes list and like just random stuff and then helping Jewelets? people out with that. Jewel- I could... I'm going to say Scrublets. Yeah. It's just funny. Um, yeah, the but... TCG hasn't come up with a name for, oh, I know they have, they, they, they literally have Dragon Dawson's. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, but that's like younger people though. That's oh, not... so yours are older idiots. No, 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 they're not idiots. No, no, listen. If you watch well, this, you're I'm not idiots. It's just <laughs> new players. I mean, new okay. players. I mean, like the the people who are just like Look, we're transitioning all, we're from all idiots. It's yeah, fine. transitioning from the oh, I want to. Some still are. Uh, they called. We're getting uh, onto your week. They called. They called. <laughs> uh, uh, prank kid players. Um, no, anyway, uh, just people transitioning from that like, oh, I'll buy three ash. And then they're like, oh, okay, like, what else is good? And then they're like, oh, maybe I'll, like, I'll buy, like, they're just starting that process of, like, how much money do I want to spend on this shitty card game? <laughs> and then they, they get, and then here we are, ten years later. Here we are. Bragg, how was your week? That seems like fun. So I lost track of how many rounds we were actually meant to have in the tournament tonight. And somehow we ended up in time in what was... Round but, three. Yeah, round three. I don't know why. Why did I think it was just going to be three round locals? That's so weird. Were you the tiebreaker game? That, no, 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 no. We were dead oh. last. And oh, we okay. went to time. Not because of any fault of my own. Despite <coughs> other accusations. But when we but when we entered um, uh, post, um, it just worked out. It wasn't call on the standby phase there. We had to do, you know. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Sure. Um, so I just took my sweet ass time because I'm like, hey, this is a battle for last. This is going to be hilarious. Yeah, yeah, fair. And so then I overthought it, fucked up. <laughs> and then we're like, okay, fourth round. I'm like, oh God, I just made, me, I made everyone wait like 15 minutes <laughs> to do a fourth round. Because I thought everyone's already gone up. Yeah, yeah, sure, packs. sure. They're doing the thing and then and you're right. just pissing about. Yeah, sure. But I heard you gave too much respect to a, respect to a face down. Yeah. Yeah, sure. It, it happens. Could, it could be mirror. Actually, funnily enough, the other play with that, like my only other rank two that I can go into, I could only get up to another two K. So there's no way I was rank actually two? link two. Yeah, link two. Um, rank two. I can only get up to. He's going into that because I've already used the devotee play. Okay. So, Xyz. They're called Xyz. Yeah, I, I was thinking of a rank two, but I couldn't think of any. That rose That's dragon fine. had a big booty, and therefore. I actually had lost by activating Predator Plan. Oh. Oh, no. oh the old lost by Thursday. Oh, no. Well, that's, I'm like... Anaconda the, in time. This, this will be alright. I've got a whole other turn. What can go wrong? 2k, nothing. <laughs> time of the round. <laughs> <laughs> we were just discussing about how every deck has a burn option, but that doesn't count if you burn yourself. <laughs> got him. How was your week, Jake? Uh, my week was reasonable. Didn't go Sunday because no one went Sunday. Um, we watched Wrestlemania yep. yeah I was present I can't say I was watching <laughs> I mean I took in anything that was going I'm, I'm gonna be honest life. neither did I I was just Actually, you barely even watched the Logan Paul match it's fun to have on I'm gonna watch Logan Paul I don't know, it's funny it's, 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 it's not he won funny. kids like oh yeah, yeah but and then it, he got like thrown on his face and it was funny that was funny I did enjoy that and we got the reveal of Oh, this is a Yu-Gi-Oh podcast. And anyway, no, we got no, the reveal. No, no. We, we got the can... reveal of literally the most expensive Pokemon card known to man currently. Like it's literally the most expensive card that. What's it called? Like know. Illustrated Pikachu? Yeah, yeah. PSA ten. Yeah, it's a uh, similar to. Um, I guess it's like kind of what Yu-Gi-Oh did with Shonen Jump, but like back, yeah, so it was a limited day, release for a magazine, like offer oh, a for a competition that you had to like submit stuff for, and then they send you the card, and so because of the way it was just none exist and also no good quality ones exist yeah so to get one of that quality and then he put like a whole gold chain and thing like, oh, apparently that word on the street is it got regraded like six times oh yeah um, apparently there was a it had kept getting annoying because it was a faint like yeah. they have acknowledged 
the damage to this card. And they will like, just keep submitting until somebody doesn't see it. And then, yeah, then they get a 10, but everyone knows the problem with the card. That's super risky, though, isn't it? Because if you have to crack a, a PSA card out of its thing... It's hard, bro. Yeah. Like, it's risky play. Especially when to buy it at a 9 is still ludicrously expensive. Well, I mean, he... he <laughs> yeah, that's, well, he that's, traded that's in, for the best. <laughs> he traded in the 9 because he had a 9 mm. for, and some cash yeah. for that. Which, if, right, let's... Logan Paul had some cash. Some oh, cash. <laughs> you are Logan Paul. You are Logan Paul. Oh god, kill me now. <laughs> no, I mean, no, but how many houses do you Stay want? Stay out of the forest, Jacob. Stay out of the forest. No. Don't walk away from the forest. Uh, so, you have to do this with Yu-Gi-Oh card. What, what, what are you throwing around? What are you chasing at this, at that price range? And trying At to infinite hype. price range. Let's say the Pokemon uh, hype got actually replicated in the Yu-Gi-Oh hype. I mean, to be fair, the collection yeah, the bit. collection market for Yu-Gi-Oh is going up. Yes, fair call. Is there a card that you could liken to that level? Jake, we both have an answer. It's Stardust Divinity, a hundred percent. Oh yeah, it's Stardust Divinity. Give me that shit, because it's similar to, to Pikachu, where the illustrated Pikachu, where there was a reason why it was very limited, it was the natural disaster in Japan. It got harshly limited. It is a card that we will probably never see because it was such so limited and the way it was given out. If you could get like a fucking high graded or even like a high graded um any of the match winners. Yeah. I'm so sad. Oh I'm so sad. The, Jack. the match winner and playmat of the the like I've definitely mentioned this playmat before. The the twin headed Chimera sorting bear. Oh the dog. Yeah, the dog. Oh yeah, my yeah. god, the, the, bear, the, yeah, the, the bear dog. We, bro, we, 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 we talked about we this in this apartment. This. Yes, on, on the rolling card, fields. Yeah, that. Yeah, yeah that. that because it was so it was for the um, Roman event, for, right? Yeah, it was a Roman. It was event. in Rome. Yeah. Oh, that's so match winners were a great so concept. He, Fantastic concept. So you both want that? I really want the spellcaster pendulum one oh, that yeah, they that did, was, yeah. and that was for a Japanese specific event because it was based on like one of the I think they're called yokais. Is that what? Yes. Yes. Um, but yeah, that thing looked fucking sick. I want it so bad. Genuinely, the uh, the Master of the Beast is probably Chimera Master is like the cheapest one. I tried to check for one the other day. I mean, it's, a couple it's grand. cheap, but you have to fucking oh, find it. Yeah, it, literally, they're, they're unfindable. Like that, and we did a we did a cute little like there was a video that was posted, um, twenty fourteen of a like a Yu Gi Oh uh, a YouTuber who was a collector, and he was showing like his top ten most expensive cards, and even he bought Stardust Divinity for like a grand, and that thing now is. If you could find one, the last one I remember selling was like 25, 30k. It's just like impossible. And and as as they said, you can't find them, bro. They don't fucking exist. Like the other five D dragon giant cards. Oh, giant cards. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The not because I because yeah. I miss pe- I I miss the odd ice pendulum dude. Like he's already sold it by the time I got in touch with him. Um, and then obviously rebellion. Then clear. I feel- I feel like giant cards are like the high art market of the Yu-Gi-Oh world yes, in that yes. there's no specific price on any of them. There's no actual value, but people just move them around to launder money. That's yeah. what, I, that's what yeah. I feel like they are. I would really I would I would really like the DDS magician. I would like any I giant would, card. I would just really, any. really like a nice DDS art magician, but the longer that goes, I held one and I had the offer was four hundred pounds. Ooh. And I was like, but it was nice. Uh, and then he also had a blue eyes. And I was like, oh, fuck that blue eyes, bid. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, he had a magician and he was like four or 450 pounds. And I was like, can't. Mm. So was that Jake? You, like, uh, you yeah, my week in Yu Gi Oh! What deck are you playing? Um, I'm still on Ignistas. I can't be bothered building anything because Brandon comes out like next Thursday. I'm not building two decks in two weeks it's yep. just not happening are you ready to go for it got everything I've got literally everything now um, I was missing a Guardian Chimera um, bought some packs on a whim over at Zing pulled another one I was going to say I could have yeah given, so I quite happy could have just given you one but no. well I have one now give it to him right, uh, I, I may have purchased it already <laughs> <laughs> you need to okay cool I'll, I'll look through my binder oh I think the store might have oh that's the $60-$80 one now isn't it what it's quite expensive yeah I uh, still might have a couple. Are you I thinking of the same one that I'm thinking of? The Fusion? Of? <laughs> We're talking about branded and you asked if it's the Fusion. No, um, the it is a link. Fusion. The one sure. that's like fuses from Hand and Field, Pops and I definitely doors. haven't read it. Okay. It, this is you, Gabra. I don't read. I didn't <laughs> I summon birds. I don't so know. So did you uh, win it or lose? Yes, this is, this is what I'm thinking of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, so that's super expensive now. Shit, really? Because it's the main off-turn interaction for Despair. Oh my god. Yeah. I think, you know what? If I can um, acquire some cheaply on a day that you guys don't come in to play Yu-Gi-Oh! Okay. I will attempt to do so. Yep, okay. Well, I'm good. It's him, mainly. Um, but yeah, um, I did end up winning tonight. So, yeah. Oh, uh, congrats shit. Congrats to me. Nice. Um, so, uh, first brag first. It would have been yours, uh, but you fucked up on sequencing. You had tactics and I activated the monster effect and you decided to leave the monster that was blocking you from attacking me. Yeah. Happens. Um, yeah, game two was against... Oh, who the fuck did I burst second? Nobody important. Someone. Uh, were you going straight um, to that one with Kara? Were you next to no. her? No. Um, no, I was sitting next to her though. Wait, uh, was no, I? It's... No, Didn't... I moved from there. I Jake burst struggles Luke. with Alzheimer's I burst Luke. on stream. No, not on stream. Oh, I thought, I thought you round had... Round two... No, round two I wasn't on stream. Round yeah. three and four I was. Gotcha. So, round three was against... Uh, fucking... I only remember the last round because so much shit went on in the last round. Um, I don't know. Someone? Maybe? No, it wasn't Ben. It was me. <laughs> it wasn't. Um, but anyway, versus someone, won against them. And then versus Josh, of all people, in the last oh, round, yeah, which is always like... Right. You're just like, oh, fuck, here we go. I'm going to run into s s fucking billions of hand traps. Um, he made some very bizarre tech choices in the game. It really threw me off. Um, so game one was super grindy. He was on 800... No. Yeah, he was on 800... No, 200. He was on 200. I was on 800. But I just was getting out-resourced. And he... Like, it was very slow. It was over the process of, like, four turns. But he was just building up more momentum. And I was like, well, I, I can't. Like, I could try... But then I'll die anyway, so let's just move on to game two. That's the um, spirit. Yeah, well, that's the thing. Uh, I didn't want to whittle away Time another rules. 10 minutes. Um, game two ended up winning because uh, I went first, and um, I think I got Nibiru, but like his hand was terrible. It was absolute garbage. Um, and then game three, I won because of Fire Phoenix adding Mr.'s burn effect. <laughs> he was on like 1800. No, he's on 2k life points because he solemns me twice. And, yeah, ended up, like, punching into his thing. Also, I had a tactics, a triple tactics, burning a hole in my fucking hand. You're just like, please do something. I'm, please. Seriously, like, of all the people you can depend on to activate a fucking monster effect against you, it's Josh. And I was like, okay, he activates monster effect. I steal his monster, I kill him. Yeah. But see. just didn't. D didn't open a hand trap. It's just all fucking back. Let row. me use like, the out. Let me do it. Let me do the thing. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. Um, Five Phoenix for win. Um, got nine packs of ATS for winning and pulled the Destiny Fusion oh gorgeous so yeah you've been easy. doing alright run for that Ignis is a fucking great like it's super easy um like I think with the tech choices and stuff I have it's fine now like with the hand traps and stuff tournament play might be a different thing sure. like, highlight, like because there'll be time. yeah because it, it'll just be more so the matchups and stuff it'll be a little bit more mm. unknown um I might hit like bizarre hand traps in there but yeah um but yeah I'll be able to test that on Oh god, reflux. Oof. Um, be able to test that on Sunday because we've got a three v three. Um yep. me, Luke and Lewis are going up. Yep. So they're gonna carry me. Can you um, play Ignis as a master door yet or no? Oh yeah, you can. It's just garbage. Are you missing something? No. The format does not oh, support okay. it. Um best of one and you've got people that are just like, Oh, you can go first and you're just like Ugh. Oh no. I don't wanna. No. I don't no. wanna. No. I don't wanna. <laughs> You can't make me. <laughs> no, and the people attack to go second because yeah. Yeah, it's That's just it's just redundant. Like I built it not knowing that, so I've spent a lot of money on ultras that I really wish I didn't. Okay. But yeah, like it works fine on there. It does exactly the same thing it does in real life. It's just you just can't plan for people going like, oh yeah, this is the best of one format. Why would I not go second? Yeah. Sure. Um. But yeah, moving on from that. Speaking, uh, speaking of, Master of, of Master Duel, we have the newest update for Master Duel. Um, which has brought us the following. Uh, we have the new Dual Pass. Uh, yep. Dual Pass Gold, I should say. Oh, you got my reaction. I just haven't looked at any of this. Here we go. Um, but yeah, like the old one, you get what you spend back. Um, they have up the price, though. It used to be 600, now it's 800 gems. Sure. Um, but you get those 800 back. You get the Ultra, Super, whatever, Craft Tokens as well. Uh, at 50, at level 50 for that, you get a uh, Dingyusu background unlocked. Sure. Um, and then at 100, cool. you get a Moki Moki Mate. That's so cool. It's just the best. It looks weirdly plush, though. Like, yeah, it yes. looks the photo you posted, I was softer like... than you imagined. 
Yeah, yeah I, I imagined he would be like Half a brick. boys. I mean, if you think about thematically, like, the character and stuff, it makes sense. But maybe... Yeah, that makes sense. He's basically just a pillow. Yeah. Um, so that was one of the updates. Uh, we've obviously got the new packs, um, the Fusion-y one and the synchro we won. Do I get to play the game? No. Ah! No. Right, and no. you knew that going in. Yeah. Like the, the packs... As we discussed in last week's podcast, about nine weeks behind. Nine yeah. weeks. Nine months behind. It's nine so weeks. Ma- okay. <laughs> nine what weeks new stuff did we get? Uh, Despia pre uh, structure and just a bunch of random synchro shit. So basically, if you want to play Speedroids or Bad Despia, you or G. God, I can't even remember last or, September. Or Sue Ships. Sue Ships were randomly in there as well. I was Sue like, shit. Okay. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Um, what were we oh. doing in September? Do Let, you the remember? Because po- the, yeah, the post Dharma <laughs> format was... September. I'm going to get this copy written. Uh, we we definitely, pa- we've definitely had that Are we past, past that point of YouTube where you can't sing songs anymore? There was a good like month, pe- couple months period where people just couldn't sing songs in fucking YouTube videos without getting hit, which was really annoying. I mean, hopefully we're fine. We will, we will therefore sing the rest of the uh, copyrighted music off key. Yes, uh, <laughs> deliberately. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, because we had to tell Blake to sing it. <laughs> anyway, um, the other thing I they added to doing the loop bit. Yeah, I don't know why. Um, they also added a new uh, solo gate. Um, it was Herald. Um, okay. At the end of it, you basically just get to play like the loner version of full power Drytron. Sick. Because people needed more of a reason to play Drytron. Yeah. Um, speaking of a reason to play Drytron, there's also no ban list. They yeah. didn't bring in any sort of restructure to the format so it's literally just bring the any same cards in so like... well, they brought in some but like they weren't going to be enough to change the format and yeah. then you've also not limited anything that was already there it is it is strange that they like don't bring any format warping decks out or t- two to one decks out to change the format and then also don't give us a ban list yeah like it's, it's a good choice yeah i don't know whether they're just like whether it's just a a plan to funnel people to new stuff like once they bring in the meta warping stuff they ban all the other shit so then it's like oh sorry about this you have to play this now if you want to do well but they also don't have to do well because the fucking burn deck is still super relevant I'm still Fuck confused that deck. The, why they want us to play like year and a half old Yu-Gi-Oh it's strange because as you said we were kind of like hoping for a, a, a way to test online realistically in a functional way that we could give apparently give Konami money I don't understand why they're like because this was the thing for me when they brought out new packs I was going to go cool are they going to catch us up are they going to put us in a position where like you don't have to be because again COVID being a thing for the last two years I expected them to be like cool we're going to catch everyone up then we can run events on, on Master Duel and have like as, as we were seeing like some events pop up and stuff and then are we going to do the thing I don't know if they're still working it out but I don't know what they want it's, from this. It gives like, more credence to my theory of like they do not want the Master Duel game running alongside the TCG and OCG. They want a difference because they don't want confliction between people like, oh, do I just play on Master Duel because the decks I like to play are on Master Duel. Just play on Master Duel, which is still giving you money. You're making money. Yeah, but my theory is that they don't want people not playing physical because they can play the decks they like non-physical. Because at the moment, like... In, in their mind, this is what I'm thinking they're thinking, is that people will play both because they'll play something in the TCG slash OCG that's legal there and then they'll play a deck that they used to like or can't play anymore in the TCG for whatever reason in there. So like there might be a period that Sword Soul, as we knew it, was as a full power in Master Duel where it's got Protoss and everything and the people that used to like that that are now playing fucking brave whatever are just like oh shit yeah I'll play that that looks fun I'm mm. I would pay so much money to sit in a room with the people that organise this because between <laughs> like no because generally wouldn't have to be a big room for the sounds of things <laughs> Duel Links was making so much money mm-hmm. like Duel Links was making enough money that Konami cared which is crazy because Konami has gambling money mm-hmm. so like uh-uh. um, so you pull away from Duel Links you half put you're trying not to pull away from your IRL game but then you're also not giving like, surely their player base is currently maybe not doing this but doing this for Master Duel because they're not giving any 
bloody anything new and nobody's going to sit there and grind rank like how much longer are you guys going to grind rank before you go man there's not really a point in me getting the plat huh no. like at what like well that's the thing at this point i'm basically treating it like because i enjoy playing it yeah, so which, which i basically is, play the deck that's going to win me the most games until i get to plat one and then once i get to plat one i play whatever the fuck i like because at that point i've done everything i need to do sure but like how much longer have you got left of doing that if if we continue on this path and you don't get a new deck couple months yeah maybe it's strange because i feel like for duel links there was enough updates enough stuff enough like even i wasn't in duel links much but i played and i was like hey i, I can do this thing now and that gets me and this thing and this, and then and then i'll grind to like king of games and that's cool and like, king of games feels more prestigious than it does re- platinum plat one yeah. like and but one, that's and one's a an format and, thing, and right? messing in one and one's a format i, I don't really care about there is like a whole different kettle of fish when you're coming to a battle ladder and like playing decks that are gonna have a high ratio of all you need is above 50 percent and then you just grind 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 and you pick decks that are fast so you don't waste your time uh or are you practicing for decks that you have in real life and are you practicing to because that to me is like kind of what i don't know they should have got not should have but like to have this half competitive thing it's like there's there's a ladder there and they have drytron and they have like birds and uh, not the correct birds but <laughs> they have the birds and they have like all this stuff that are meta decks that would be destroying a ladder and destroying casual players experience on that ladder but then you're not giving the competitive players like the good stuff and the... yeah it's a weird point and like it's not to say that like every dual pass they it's like that's their only opportunity to put a ban list they I could do a ban list tomorrow like yeah. they, they wouldn't give a shit but it does feel as though something needs to change in there for people to maintain interest. Like, you can't keep adding these side events to hope that these are enough to keep people going. Um, so hopefully that's a thing. Um, the one thing it won't be is Worlds. Ah. Um, yeah, 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 I have true. One, I have one more quick point on... Yes, hit me. Do you think uh, the Drytron presence in that Herald Gate will hopefully direct people that are purely playing these gates to grind up stuff and then go to ladder do you think yeah. that's then kind of think subtly so. guiding them to go oh this drivetron direct seems it's pretty powerful fun. it's yeah. and then yeah. if, if it took them to get to the very last solo game to find out that no, there's, there's a lot of people like, <laughs> but like but it's it's an interesting case of being like there's a difference between um people looking into the meta and being like oh this deck just shits on my dark magician deck or whatever and then going do the thing and then they do the thing and they go oh i locked people out of playing the game that's cool and then the yeah, final I into guess. like it's interesting yeah and I suppose it's not like the physical game in that like there is that barrier of like you have to pay for the deck to be able to play it to some invariant like you can practice on that and be like oh okay I like this but yeah this ratio seems garbage so if I buy it I'll do this yeah so yeah my thoughts on that is that they give people this last taste of Drytron and then fuck it off immediately and then if they want to play it again they play in solo yeah. mode to their heart's content yeah, yeah. That's what I'm hoping. Also, like, it did the weird thing of, like, usually when you play solo mode, they give you the garbage variant and the opponent has the busted variant. Mm -hmm. It did completely the opposite with that. You got Drytron and they got, like, some fucking agent bullshit. Like, I saw Uh... them normal summon Agent of Mystery and search um, fucking Hyperion. I was like, I'm sorry, what? What are you doing? Yeah, that's... That's not how that works. Yeah, that's two different decks. (laughs) I'm getting really... I want us to not talk about this, okay? As soon as I say this, we skip over it because it's going to waste time. Well, however, however, oh. I will say, oh. instead of like the fusion and stuff side events, why are we getting format events? Why are we getting like that would here's be dope. dragon ruler spell? Yeah, that would actually be really format. Cool. Here's yeah goat format. Here's um, and then because it's so cheap to build stuff or give people. Like, well, for the other ones, they do like, loner decks. So even yeah, if you yeah. just did a loner Which variant a of Dragon idea. Rulers or Shadol or idea. whatever, that would be fine. So that would be an interesting thing to go down. But I think they've already so died of mind that they're do. doing a fusion event as one of their yeah, next ones. Yeah. It's just so generic and air. Eh. Also, which, just which, give us give us access to our um, give us access to ban cards in not like in private rooms. Do they like, not? No, no, no. Can you, you just verse no, a friend? Yeah, so you can't. You can verse a friend, but you can't, you can't craft it. Yeah, you, like Pot of Greed, you cannot craft. <sighs> which is so you like, can't play Goat on there at no. all, or like anything like this, no. which would be cool. Oh, yeah, yeah like I would be super down for that. Shockingly, it's more potential they have. But 
Worlds, uh, oh. not happening. Yeah, so there was oh. a press release uh, late last week. Um, I'll read through this quite a bit. Um, okay. Uh, in view of the recent world situation, it is difficult to hold the previous tournament, so we will not hold Yu-Gi-Oh! World Championship 2022. Oh. We sincerely apologise to everyone who looked forward to the event. For each title of Yu-Gi-Oh! card game, we are preparing to deliver events and tournaments that everyone can enjoy in various forms, offline and online. We not will true. inform you through the official website, official SNS, etc. in sequence. So, despite what I said briefly before, it sounds like they will do some level of Worlds event in master duel sure what it'll be when it'll be who knows same as the tcg same as i don't know rush duels whatever whatever um but yeah again it's yet another year that i get to hold my <laughs> also, wcq can I just say, like, it's just basically <laughs> it's just not true what they're saying like unless they have to do it in japan because japan's really as uh, japan's laws for going in and out of the country are really hard right now uh -huh. i totally get that uh, We're just getting events everywhere else for other games. I believe it might be because of Ukraine. Yeah. What? Why? Um, oh, for international travel. You, you, and like yeah, going to places near. Yeah. Fair. Okay, like that's for, understandable. For that, plus, uh, what's the other thing? I, uh, I mean, Poland's got a yeah, huge yeah, influx yeah. of refugees, so yeah. obviously they've got a whole thing on their plate, so I'm not sure how that economy is going to. That's yeah. interesting. Because. I guess with Pokemon it is like specific to the country it's like this is US if this is like if Europe gets like, any more problematic Pokemon Worlds is gonna be I don't imagine they will but like to I mean, say to say well we're just not gonna do it because uh, I'm I've... like I, I understand that but to say like look we want everyone from every country we can't get that we're not gonna do it right now here's what we're gonna do Yeah. don't be like no you get something like I, I this what it's just a communication for Konami would be nice to say these are the types of events we'd like to do we will do them when we can and when this stuff clears up hmm. not I don't know it feels Hold yeah it. it feels like a bit of a rushed press release and like, like there was no rush for it it's not like they'd scheduled World WCQ 2022 yeah. yet yeah. it's not like people were booking their tickets like they could have had time to sit there and go okay so we're not going to do it what are we going to do and release that information so rather than just go Oh, it's not this year. Uh, talk soon. Bye. But uh, it's, it's, <laughs> I, it's another reason to have your game properly on Master Duel. That's the reason. Mm. Let people, if you want to organize WCQs and big events, or for fuck's sake, or just put big events on Master Duel and put really cool stuff up. Or they're already sending, from what I understand, they will send people prizing for um, the garbage webcam duels. Mm. Remote duels, yeah. They will send people prizing. So mm. if they're willing to do that, Put it on Master Duel. Say we will send you prizing yeah. based on where you finish. Do the thing. The thing with the and thing you don't deal with cheating. You don't deal with bad. Um, you already you're dealing with connection over um, thing anyway. So connection is always going to be an issue. Yeah. But you eliminate bad webcams. Judges like. Yeah. Just do the thing. Yeah, it would be the cheapest way for them to run the event in theory. The only logistical issue I can see is that when they do the remote duel. It's not Konami that's actually giving the pricing. It's the store that's organised it. Oh, that's interesting. I, so thought, I thought they had like Raiden, YCSs and stuff. No. As far as I know, like even with the remote door YCS that we entered, that yeah. was still organised by a store in Germany. Oh, interesting. So, so that they was organised by Raiden Trade in oh, Germany and they distributed everything. Mm, I did not know this. And that's why I think they had a lot of teething issues at the very start. Yeah, yeah um, of course. Because that's a, it's that's a, a big job. Yeah, absolutely. So like... As much as I fucking shit on them at the time, I feel somewhat sorry for the store that had to be the first one to try and do I that know, fair level cop. of I didn't realise it was like just the store trying to organise it, because that is a huge undertaking, and that is like, yeah, huge. yeah, that's really rough, but it was cool that they wanted to try. Yeah. Again, the, the company doing something on it would have been lovely, but yeah. they also know it's a huge undertaking. Um, I don't blame them for not doing Pokemon, and Magic did nothing either. It's not like a... This is just like they did nothing over the the um, period, so I, it makes sense. But there's also like Magic has an application where you could just play standard, and they put events on it. It's like, no hard, like, and they've got a good running application now, so I don't see a reason not to. Yeah, but yeah, it'll be interesting. Like, to you see can't take into account goes. world events and stuff, as you said. Like this shit might keep happening, especially for the next year or so. Um, 
So there's always going to be something going on somewhere in the world. So to throw that out as an excuse every year well, is yeah, going to be which, a bit redundant. But, like that's okay. I will accept that if they don't have the solution in front of them. Yeah. If they don't have the thing they built and paid a lot of money to build, and then say, well, we can't do events because nobody can come, and then everyone go, well, you have the thing. Like just do something. And yes, it will still ex- <laughs> it will thing. still it will still exclude people, but you'll be able to do cool events for people. Like you just will. And in a very friendly to get system because I think their their economy system on Marcel was really good. It's not like we haven't seen it before, but they used the correct one, and now it's mm. easy to get cards. So cool. Yeah. Like. All right. So moving on to the physical guard game, we have the leak of Big. the highly <laughs> anticipated Big. Albaz strike structure. Oh. Um, what a cool week it's reprints. been since last week when we talked about this. Cool reprints, fucking big deck. Yeah, so like a big lot of this action. stuff isn't um, particularly um, surprising. Like we knew quite a bit of these. Yeah. I don't know what the golden sword soul is. I'll have to look into exactly what that is because I can't remember. Mm-hmm. Um, I think it's some garbage. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to go down and uh, basically read out the reprint cards. Uh, so we've got a Fleur de Lee the Knighted is getting reprinted. Uh, Red MD for reasons I don't fully understand. Yeah, of course. Uh, Thunder, a... Thunder King Kaiju, again. Is that the big twin headed one? Yeah. Sure, man. Um, Chaos Dragon Levineer. Oh, okay. Uh, Radian. Um, Artifact Scythe. Yeah, I don't know what's with the Chaos stuff in this. I'm thinking they've just looked at Albaz and gone like, oh, he's a dragon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's do dragon things. What's a dragon that we need in there, yeah? Um, so, Artifact Scythe, um, both um, White Dragon and Black Dragon Chaos thingies, the mm-hmm. baby ones. Mm-hmm. Um, Keeper of Dragon Magic, which is a fucking garbage card. Do not run it. Uh, Summon a Monk, also garbage. Do not run it. He was really good in nope. 2013. No, it yep, was never we've good. moved on. Uh, Ghost Ogre, no. Effect Valor. Heroes. Omni Dragon. Really good heroes. Um, we've got Fusion Gate. That's not going to get used. Uh, Fusion Recycling Plant, also not going to get used. Ghost Ogre should have been Ash, probably, but it's okay. Should have had fucking both. Yeah, why not? <laughs> There's a reason it wasn't Ash that we'll get to later. Yeah. Um, Fusion Sub, which is not bad. Um, like, the theories that I'm running through in my head, I've not actually put the deck together, but I will probably run Fusion Sub as my poly target for um, Fry for whatever it's called Fry for something or other what's the card called I don't know some Fry for card um the octopus Fry for Patchwork oh the other one oh yeah oh, geez, that yes. one yeah, yeah 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 it's not the fusion toy vendor the spell yeah vendor vendor yeah, vendor. Um, yeah what else um, back to uh, the front did we um, get extra um I haven't read it yet it might be in there I haven't I'm got pretty, to it I'm pretty sure it is Oh yeah, I literally skipped it. Yeah. Um, Part of extra, nice. It was still a twenty dollars card, so yeah. And getting in what I assume will be a common reprint will be kind of cool. Um, the desires reprint. Remember the last round, of, like the desires had the structure deck reprint, mm-hmm. and that maintained value until they absolutely flatlined it. And they went, "Here's a rare of it. Here's a common of it. Here's but a fucking." There was a good time. There was a good portion of time where that desires was worth money. Yeah, and that'll be the same for these. It'll be the yeah. same for most of these reprints. Like, this will be the first Scythe reprint outside of an Ultra for a long time. I still think they won't because of how many people are going to get these structure decks. I think they're going to be what? fairly cheap. I think these mm. commons are going to be fairly cheap because the amount of people getting these structure decks is going to be absurd. Well, the same thing was said for, like, Drolls and stuff that were in um, oh, the yeah, Spellcaster fair. structure, yeah, and they were quite expensive. a bit of money. Yeah, yeah, they were, they were still expensive. Same with uh, Dark Willow as well yeah like they will be valued maybe not from the start because everyone will flood the market with it that yeah. already has them what's Dark Rule common at? still like over 10 bucks I thought yeah it was better value to get the structured X than it was to buy the commons yeah because um, we were asked for it quite a lot because of that exact fact uh, Warning Point is also getting a random reprint in this structure sure. deck it's not a terrible card to be one of the few, I uh, think it's one of the few secrets I've bloody pulled the last couple of years <laughs> 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 you just get so fucked up on reprints. Um, Dimensional Barrier, which will be yeah. a very good side card yeah, for good people that are buying this. It's like, like seven bucks. Put it down their throats. People need to know that. Just put this in. Like, yeah, pretty it much. It does the job. Uh, Waking the Dragon. Hang on. Dark Roll is in Albaz? Not that I read. Apparently it is. TCG have a good history of not fucking this up. 
There's no way Those TCG would put pre-sales on for the um, Dark Ruler. Uh, the Dark Ruler. Oh yeah, the there it is. Yeah. yeah, just under Call by the Grave, which I also missed. Jake, brother. Um. Uh. uh the the Dark Ruler for in the structure deck is still like eight bucks. So. So. This structure deck's not bad. So that will, it is quite a good. So those should come down, but they'll still. Okay. So yeah, Dark Ruler no longer pays for those old structure decks. Um, but yeah, to round this off, uh, reprints, you've got, um, a bunch of the fusions, um, like Brigrand, Sprind, Albion, um, Albaz, um, All but one, yeah? Um. The side turning one. Excuse me? What'd you call me? Just thinking of the way he's positioned. The side looking? turny one? Yeah, he turned to the sidey. Let's go to Back my, to the front? To my purchasers. That uh, one. Wow. That is oddly not helpful. Where the photo? Jesus Christ. Oh yeah, but that's not a branded card. That's a Despia card. Yeah. You're a Despia card. Yeah, this is yeah. Although they need each other to work. Yeah. They're functionally different. Functionally different. Yeah. Again, so buy, yeah. just like buy three of them. I was honestly just, expecting just Despia stuff yeah. in here instead of Branded. Oh, sorry, the, the dragon. Yeah. Oh, the reason we got warning point is because they took out Ash Dragon's prison. <laughs> ah, see, maintain. Wait, is that because it's in the next thing? Uh, no. Okay. I hate. No, this. it wouldn't be because Ash Dragon's prison was in. Um, Doors. That structure deck was too Rise good. Sorry, out of goes. Three of that, they yeah. always they always change something. All right, I have three. Um, um, but yeah, by the... three of it, it's gonna be sick. It's gonna be format warping. I think. Uh, we still don't know the ruling of the fucking grave thing. Oh. So. Look, yeah. We'll figure it out. Yeah, we'll work it out. Um, so people have been touting this as, like, the best structure deck that's ever been printed. <laughs> I disagree for one huge reason. And unfortunately, the title at this stage, to me, has to go to the Salad structure deck. And this is the reason why. Salad was a near-functional deck at the box. All you basically needed was a couple of extra links, like Heater... And yeah. um, the wolf fucking. So yeah, your and, your yeah. gauge on this Which both is well, functional both decks, not good reprints and half well, a deck. And there's well, the other thing. Deck, that's the thing. It had both. Deck. No. It had both. And both. Because you oh. had Ash Blossom in there. Oh yeah. Like Shit. there were there were good reprints in that okay. structure as well. The problem with this is that there's great reprints for sure. Yeah. Like no doubting that. And the deck is playable out the box. The biggest problem with it is to play the best variant of the deck, you'd still need to spend an extra like fucking five hundred dollars yeah. at minimum to play it. Yeah. Like I like that and the Shadow one came to mind, but even then I don't think the Shadow. The Shadow one again was playable fine. Like yeah. really all you but needed to it, buy outside of that was a schism, which was like at its peak forty dollars. Yeah. And, and then the to play the was best construct. to play the best variant of it was to play um, the, invoked. The invoked yeah. But even then, invoked had reprints by that point, so it wasn't super expensive to get yeah. into. But, yeah, with this, because there's been no reprints, the cards are relatively recent, and because we've seen what Japan's doing with it, mm. and the deck's hyped up to shit, like, Aluba's six months ago were $40 at most. Now they are $100 on top of that. Yeah, Then you've got the Fusion that I got for $2 each from Good Games are now between $15 and $20 each, of which yep. you need to run three. Chimera oh, went yeah. from a 40 to an $80 card. Like, it's just to play and the brand, ads... And, and the call as well... Oi, oi, the do what? you think Dragoon's uh, going to uh, go up calling? even more if you can well, play yeah. it? Well, yeah, if that ruling is the same, and from what I've seen, it already kind of is. Like, Dragoon's sitting at 150 now. <laughs> I I think, correct me if I'm wrong, because Bragg's been playing the game way longer than I have. Mm -hmm. um, I think that ruling stands. I think, that's, I think it's correct. I think if a card says it can be treated as fusion, it doesn't matter where the card is. If it says it can be used as a fusion of... What's a rule that is in Japan? They ruled against it. They've said they that cards it. like Goddess with Third Eye, if they're in Graveyard specifically, their can't be banished by their effect to count as a fusion. Other than just whatever Japan monster. says, will probably win. Yeah. In like, unless the card says on field or in the card's effect, as we know, effects don't just go away when they hit the grave. We know that by eight million fucking grave effects that we've got in this game. So if effects don't just go away. Unless it, I don't think Japan's ever changed their minor ruling. Not not quick. Oh, not, we not fo quickly. we followed them with the pencil thing, didn't we? And that was just wrong because of the wording. Yeah. Well, I mean, we we followed them with some weird stuff that's not in the rule book. So yeah, sure. What do you do? But speaking of Dragoon getting a reprint, 
No, I didn't. Uh, I spoke of Dragoon's pricing. Speaking oh, of Dragoon's so pricing. So Dragoon's been ulting. So no. what, what rarity is a Dragoon we got? Starlight. Ultra, Ultra Starlight. Starlight. Ultra, That's Starlight. it. Original Ultra, Starlight. I knew it was a high one. Yes, the Starlight is money. But I don't know if this is the next thing. I'm going to fucking... Um, I haven't got it if on my thing If it's here, not, I want you to delete it. whatever's between here and that. Well, that's the thing. It's not on here at all. So, Wait, bear huh? with me a second. I'm pretty sure I sent it to tin? the chat. Yeah. I yeah. thought the tin was last week. I did too. No, we've, I not, asked Jake, we've not done it, We tin. haven't touched it. That's alright. I've got the press release. Yeah, go, 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 go. Sorry, I thought we had the tin last week. I thought so too. I asked Jake like no. midweek. I was so, like, did you guys talk about it? Because I want to... We talked about the actual tin coming out, but we've not... We didn't know what was in it. Yes. But now we know what's in it. So, um, yeah, good we've reprints got, via Konami? Question mark. Yeah. So Definitely the not ones that they've announced printed? so far, um, like they're giving us um, alternate arts of um, Blue Eyes, Red Eyes, and Dark Magician Girl, because um, we need more of those. Yeah. Um, we've also got um, seven new cards as well as all-time cards from the past. So I think that's just like those retrains of like the anime cards, like retrains of Kaiser Dragon and all that kind of shit, which I don't care about. The reprints, however. Uh, Ghost Ogre, again. Um, Ash Blossom, very good. Still Lightning Storm, very good. Yeah. Uh, Nibiru, again in a tin, nice. Uh, Droplets and uh, Dragoon. Yes. Droplets needed a reprint. Yep. It's still at uh, over $100. Dragoon desperately needed a reprint. It should have gone before now. Storm is fairly cheap, but a good new reprint is, uh, another reprint is good. Ash is still 20 bucks for the commons. Um, no, sorry, even more. They're 20 US for the commons. And you say Sal and the Great isn't the best. I didn't know Ash was in it, to be honest. Um, yeah, I think this tin's looking spicy. However, it just depends on the pull rate, I think. Because yeah. the pull rate of the last tin was also... Sorry, the, the cards in the last tin were spicy. The pull and, rate of them was garbage. And then, no, you got three packs. The last tin sucked, didn't it? No. There were decent reprints in there. It was good reprints. Just not critical ones. Like, people were Present. whinging that they didn't Triple get Tactics was critical. Prosperity. Tactics. Tactics was critical. Storm was critical. Hmm. Zeus was still money. Oh yeah, Zeus. Yeah, okay, you win. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not saying it's good. I'm not saying it's like nuts. I'm not saying it's not, it's not as good as this. Like you had, but Nid it was good. You had Nadir as well. Yeah. yeah. Like, oh, I'm sorry, Nadir Seven as well. Yeah, but the oh, issue yeah, was right. you couldn't pull them. Nadir oh, uh, sorry, and in... cross out. And cross out. Yeah. Oh, did that's, I miss anything? Is there a reason we're not playing um, Servant at the moment? It's great card. In what? Yeah, is, is it a rent? Like, what are you talking about? Is it about? a two? One? Uh, it, it is, is, is it's a two. So it's harder to get to. Two. So did we just cut it completely? Mm -hmm. Is that what it just I don't happened? know why we don't play cross out. It's well, balanced. that's the thing. I had, I've i literally not picked up that deck since the ban list came in. Yeah. Like, I was playing Mech Knights and other garbage. I've not touched that deck since the ban it's list. It's still like so a plus. I don't remember what we said oh, at the yeah. time. Did we even. We, we just went, ah. Oh, it, it, won't, it won't matter. Didn't I we? wonder how it goes into Brave because like if they are playing Ogre more it's less of a reason to hit your shit mm. yeah um, but as I said they're, they're so that was the last tin right that was like the most recent yeah. tin so the tin so far like again this is really good reprints it just depends if you can fucking pull them or not it will bring down the price anyway which is just good yeah um, what was it missing Prosperity is the one for me, and DP is well, no. a bit, it's a bit, it's a bit early for DPE. Yeah, um, they've, well, they've not prosperity. said that DPE would be in. Oh, here. sorry, but they did say breakers. Uh, think bode cards would be in there. In the press yeah. release, it, it says that set. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, because somebody was asking me about Ecclesia, and do they pick up the new Ecclesia yet? And I said, well, yes, because it's it ain't cop and a reprint. And then I checked the thing, and it, it does say bode on it. Yeah, but even then, like. Do you wait? What the tin's not going to be coming out until what September October? Mm, uh, do no. you... Yeah, it, was, it will be delayed at September first at the moment. Yeah. So do you wait until September to pick up a card that's essential for your deck? No. No. Or do but, you? Because oh, there's no worlds. But interestingly enough, though, is this uh, indicative of the cards that will probably stay off the list? Mm, like well, what got banned after the last tin? Nothing. Storm, TT, droplets. Oh, th th those are yeah, no, yeah. Droplets, sorry. like for sure, Crossout, like like staple cards, yes. But like reprinted cards, like did anything get hit in terms of the reprint cards? I oh, Nadir I mean, Seven. Nadir Seven got hit, yeah, which was weird. Um, um, I didn't realize it. Crossout didn't. So Zeus didn't. Um, TTT didn't. Storm didn't. Well, Crossout was a debut. Yeah. 
But I'm saying, like, later, like, it didn't even... It's, it's interesting, right? Because Droplets is something I could have seen them doing something with. They limited call buy. They limited call buy. Because call buy was cheap. Yeah. Yeah. And then cross out was coming out. Yes, I understand you. Um, but, like, it's interesting that this is kind of our hint at, hey, yeah, you can pick these cards up. Like, because if it's coming out in September, I would feel comfortable picking up a set of droplets right now then. The price will come down because it just got announced. It'll come down a couple bucks. You could probably convince somebody to sell you them for cheap. Uh. Um, then you get to play them at least until September, October, and then potentially after that. Hmm. I don't know. The TCG is not a huge fan of like banning staples or even addressing staples. The last one they did was what? Desires. Desires. Called by. And called by. And both of those were cheap. Yeah, they were. Um, I still think Desires was like Sword Soul hit for some yeah, reason. Yeah, good point. They don't hit staples until they're cheap. cheap. You go ban list. Um, I still think like it, it is interesting because there is a lot of stables in this game right now, like a lot, mm-hmm. um, a lot of high high priced staples. Um, so they're all cool. hand traps. Uh, are they? Or anti hand trap. Or, or anti hand trap. Yeah. But I think um, what's interesting is that like TTT and Storm have both come down like a ridiculous amount. So I don't even know that Storm needed a reprint. Um, but Prosperity not getting a reprint is weird as fuck. Big goal from the man. No Lightning Storm reprint. It's cheap. And I think it's like, ben- bro, they're like 30 bucks. But I think Ben's addressed this before is that they don't reprint everything in every opportunity that they have for like tins and stuff because they need to keep some of them to sell the garbage sets that have nothing that want- anyone wants to buy. Like Prost, yes. for example, yeah. will Prost probably end up be... in one of the deck building sets. Yeah, yeah. As like a collector's rare, I doubt it'll be in there as a rare. Highly doubt it. No, it'll be it'll be a high rarity. You're right. You're right. Mister Rune will. F- Mister Rune's going to be. All of those seem like decent. Yeah. So I... wait, what was the other one? Oh, the weed pendulum thing. Yeah. Um. Yeah, but yeah, the tin is shaping up to be good. It just depends on how much other stuff they put in it. That's. Basically, and the pull rate, whether yeah, you can I actually mean, hit. The I think cards. they'll sell. I think just based on this, they'll sell droplets, isn't it? Like Brothers of Legend, uh, the pink one, which was the subtext. Yeah, yeah Brothers of Legend. Yeah, Brothers of Legend sold out the wazoo. Droplets was a shit pull rate. It was in it, and people wanted it. I'm pretty sure there was a couple of other. That like the Starlight Dragoon was in there. The, there were a couple of things in there that people wanted. I think Nibiru was in there. there. Yeah, there was um, some decent stuff in there. Um, but. Droplets is there. People bought the product. Droplets being here, um, Storm being here, like people buy the product now. They that's all they needed. They needed a couple of names in there. It does like whatever else is in there. I think people still buy it, or at least try it out. Yeah, I don't think they're current like their three pack multiple rare like multiple rarities is really exciting if they make good secrets and you're not just going what are my ultras. Um, I like them using the last hint to boost the rarity of cards they hit, but or decks they hit, but you, boosting the rarity of Fractal and Naval and stuff like this, that's cool. So if they do that again, sick. Yeah, more um, than likely they will. Cool. Um, but, yeah. yeah. Actually right. good products. Just give us prosperity, please. <laughs> yeah. Um, so we have some questions from our Discord. Um, if you weren't aware, we do have a Discord. We've got a cool bunch of people in there. Ask us questions, post your deck list, get some thoughts, have a chat. Um, link is in the description below, so jump in, say hi. Um, our first question this week comes from Red Jive. Oh, sorry, um, sorry. Jake's going to read this. Lachlan's not going to read this this week because uh, we're giving up on that apparently. So yeah, apparently that's not a thing. No, see, it was it was fun. I hope you enjoyed the segment while it lasted. Yeah, that, that was it. It was it was that one and done. <laughs> uh, so Red Jive asks, "What do you feel about playing ten hand traps?" <laughs> um, sure, it's sure. a bunch of negates from hand, but isn't it sort of Blur. Mm. Um, the idea that you can slap some cards in your deck and have the same number of negates as a normal board is something interesting. Um, as someone who has played Invoked for quite some time, I will tell you that hand traps are great um, if your deck just needs one card. That's it. If your deck has starters and like one or two card starters, uh, you can play hand traps, no problem. They're extra negates. As you said, they set up, yeah, you have the same, same number of negates as a board does. Is that a problem? There's a couple different theories as to how you would build a deck, right? So basically, you have one card combos where you can just play either a bunch of hand traps to stop your opponent getting to their board, 
or a bunch of extenders to make sure that you get to yours. Mm. But depending on how consistent your deck is, depends on which way you lean. If you get stopped off one hand trap, you're probably better off not playing as many hand traps. And play extenders. Play extenders. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then also the thing is, if you're playing second, you just maybe cut some of the hand traps and play a bunch of board breakers. Like, you don't care what they set up, you're just going to fuck that board up, set up your thing, and yeah. go. So... It depends entirely on how you want to play. If playing Flunder, you have to do both. Because you, <laughs> you, you get stopped. So you have to play Extenders. And so then you also have to play Hand Traps. So to that point... <laughs> um, but so all that Extender is... So, like, so all that Extender would do, in theory, that you have, would be to create a negate, though. To no, put a body on board. To put, no, to, to get put, to your board. Yeah, yeah, to get to, to get your to board, your which in theory has an agate. Or, or a towers. So, Not really, but it's a... that's it. Like, how many towers decks are getting around? I wish there was more. Anyway. So that's an agate. Like, in theory. So you could just have the hand trap and it's the same functional purpose yes, as an yes, extender. Yes. So I... you don't need extenders. I think so I think functionally the, the <laughs> best... however you can't win a game purely off hand traps. Yeah, so I guess that's the point. I think functionally, the if you can aim to do this, the most powerful decks in Yu-Gi-Oh have always done a very little of uh, the same board of a very little amount of cards, and then played a bunch of heavy stuff on the side. Whether it was Pepe and they got to play heavy traps, but we didn't have as many hand traps. Now it like it was Spiral, and you get to do like oh here are two cards, make a whole board. Plus, I get to play hand traps. Like, the best way to do it, from what we've seen, is have your deck do a lot of a couple, like, a very small amount of starters consistently, and then back it up with hand traps. Yeah. You're so, right, hand traps are just free, like, negates that you would have to set up otherwise. Yeah. Um, hand traps to get, like, to get that uh, chance to play. Like, yeah, when you, especially when you lose the dice. Like, yeah, so, fair. like, having that around, like, so maybe 10 is that ratio there, but... Contingency plans are good. But yeah. Like I get, I get the thought process. I went through it, and but as Jake said, you ain't winning games with hand traps. There's you only so much you can do. Yet, but but I will say with <laughs> de with decks that do need a lot of cards to maybe not start, but a lot of cards that they have to like do stuff with from their hand. Maybe there's like you can summon one of three different cards. You just need to open them. Stuff like this. Then yes, you have to play a little bit less hand traps because you don't want to see them fucking clogging your hand. You can't open one of one, and then you have. There are decks that'll function that way. They're not normally great decks, so yeah. It all play. It all comes down to consistency. If your deck is consistent enough that it can do its board off of one card, play a fuck ton of hand traps if you really want to. If your deck needs two to three cards to set up, and if it's interrupted, it's in trouble. Don't play as many hand traps. Play consistency cards, something to up the rate of you winning, or anti hand trap cards. Fuck <laughs> a moon. <laughs> Sam, just as a fucking just, the example <laughs> literally the logic you're stating is why you don't fucking play Book of Moon it's not a hand trap you just gotta play anti-consistency cards cause... next we have uh, Meister Swart um, what you should... <laughs> that's what it is Meister Swart. Meister Swart. Meister Swart. yeah see um, what's your opinion on normal summon Alistair very good boy. People that whinge about it are fucking weak brain morons. They are! It's one negate, bro! Get over it! Yes, yeah, so? <laughs> it's one yeah, fucking I'm a weak brain negate. moron, you don't, you but I the bad! <laughs> <laughs> um, it's, it's such a petty thing. And people that oh, whinge yeah. like, Oh, it's been around five years. Yeah. Have you seen a fucking dragon board any times? What? You... Hey, like, gen genuinely, balls. I understand. Like, people don't like seeing the same cards a bunch. That's why people don't like salad. It's been it was around for too long. Sure, think about it. It's one the gate, bro. And and we're in a format. We're in a game that if you get through it, you kill them. They're dead. We've got access code. They die. Who the fuck cares? Who cares? Just hand trap the fucking owl stuff and move on with your life, bro. So, so here's the Who thing. Cares? Here's a pro tip from the fucking invoked person. If you have the imperm for Alistar, you have the imperm for Macabre. Just imperm the fucking Macabre. Just move on with your life. Yeah, like it's not a fucking start problem. Your turn, People start get your so turn triggered. by going like this. I will now play. 
Yeah, because you have one negate. So many people have figured that out, and they don't have a problem with the deck. Because they're like, no. oh, you have one negate. Now you have zero negates. I move on. Oh, like, go. <laughs> you, oh, you've got oh. a hand trap? So does everybody else in this game. I'll just <laughs> so keep playing. Fucking else. sick. I hate that cum chariot riding cunt. <laughs> 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 um, I understand people like have a problem with it yeah so, like yeah people whatever. like hating on shit that they've seen for a long time it makes sense I yeah. really do make up for our exploded tag I apologise if it has to stay there otherwise I'm gonna abuse it <laughs> true uh, next we have a question from someone who's not named um, oh actually, no it's following on he, he followed oh, up oh and okay yeah. sure um, how do you all feel about Marin sauce with the new support so. Um, I haven't looked into it to be honest. Yeah, I, I should. I'm I was, aware I was, that I was it's actually, good. I was going to file this because I wasn't sure who's was going to be on with us, but we'll find a uh, Marinsis person and get their opinion. Um, yeah, Luke from our locals yeah. is pretty keen on Marinsis. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I know that the support is good. Um, but yeah. Oh, um, is that the water stuff? Yeah, the yeah, water yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. yeah, it gets a link three. It searches in the trap that does most of the work for them. Um, they can make access code unaffected because they just need to link with a specific thing to have the field spell protect it so having unaffected access code that's bumped up to like a fucking stupid amount of attack points is very good to be um, honest uh, water decks have been good once and so I just tend to not pay attention once we'll be talking about fire decks else. better fire, fire decks better, better. no fire right. puts out water what fire puts out water it's the end of the episode <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. <laughs> we speak <it> no more. <laughs> we move on. It's 3am, bro. Um, thank you very much for watching. <laughs> we'll catch you on the next one. <laughs>